Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I am with EatWrench.com. This video demonstrates how to install a minimal GNOME desktop into an Ubuntu server. After installing the desktop, the video will also demonstrate how to install a Firefox web browser and VirtualBox guest editions. Setting video preferences and checking that your Apache web server is working will complete this video. So first off, we're going to start our Ubuntu LAMP server. Click Start. Click inside the Ubuntu LAMP virtual machine. So it will capture the mouse. Since it's a server, I can't use the uh, mouse, but the keyboard comes along with it. Log in. Our first step after we uh, have logged in is to get all the update packages. So we make sure that uh, the server has access to the latest software. To do that, so we use sudo apt apt get update. Ask for your password. If you type it in correctly. Should be okay. And so it's looking in, making sure it has all the uh, latest uh, software it can get. Now, if you want to install a regular uh, desktop with the uh, recommended software, you'd simply say sudo apt get sudo apt get install. Ubuntu dash desk desktop and hit return. But this install is just going to uh, get a minimal GNOME installing without all the additional software. So we're going to go ask it not to install the additional software. Dash dash no. dash install dash recommends and it will trundle for a while and then it will ask for uh, your permission to continue When it asks for you your permission to continue, just type in Y, hit enter, and this time it will trundle for quite a long time. And we'll come back to it uh, when the desktop items are installed. Okay, now we have our desktop set up. We could go and take a look at it, but we'd find that we're missing some small applets. These are little applets that show up at the top of the screen, uh, at the very top of the screen that uh, might deal with the internet or sound or on off. So let's go ahead and install those also. Do that, sudo apt get install indicator dash applet dash complete complete space indicator applet if you make a mistake when you're doing this you can always use the up and down the up arrow to get back to your line before indicator well I made a mistake so should inform me
Okay, so let's hit the up arrow. So app get install indicator applets complete. Let's uh, get rid of uh, that extra S in there. Now hit enter, and we should be on our way with that. It says, do you want to continue? Yes. And we'll trundle for a while. And come back. Before we leave the command line, there's one uh, other program that'd be actually very, be easier to install from the command line. That's your Firefox web browser. So to do that with sudo apt get install Firefox. Hit enter. Yes. Trundle for a while and uh, come back. Once the Firefox web browser is installed, we're ready to reboot into our desktop. When we start back up, We'll be in the desktop. Log in from the desktop. Now, since we're using a desktop, it, uh, we're going to have to install VirtualBox uh, Guest Editions in order to give us more options for for the screen and and have the mouse work better with the uh, virtual machine. Go to Devices. Click Install Guest Editions. And up comes this screen right here. And we're just, it says open out a run prompt. And all we do is click OK and wait for it to go through this program. Run. Ask for your password. Authenticate. And finally, press return to close this window. So before we uh, restart with device, go to CD, and we're going to remove the disk from the virtual drive or simply click on host drive D. And then go over here and have it restart. This is necessary for the uh, VirtualBox editions to work. Once it's restarted, uh, the first thing what we're going to do is to uh, change our screen preferences. You notice that all of a sudden we've got a little bit bigger screen. Uh, that's due to the VirtualBox editions. And again, I seem to have a problem with keying in my password. what happens when you don't take a keyboarding class when offered. So we go to System, Preferences, Monitors, and you now have some choices. I'm just going to leave it at this preference, move it to the center of the screen a little bit more, and close. The other thing I want to do here is go to Internet, start our Firefox web browser, verify that the Apache web server is working. Uh, in this case, I will simply type in 
localhost. Oh, Wikipedia localhost. Should be local host like this HTTP. It works. This is the fault web page for this server. Web server software is running, but no content has been added yet. That will uh, take place in some later uh, uh, at a later date. That's it for this demonstration. Thank you.